Hello class, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will teach you how to transform the general form of, of the equation of the parabola to its standard form. So we have two uh, general form of the equation of the parabola. The first one is the y square plus dx plus ey plus f equal to zero. So i-rewrite natin yan papunta dito guys. Kay standard form na the quantity of y minus k square equals 4p times x minus h. Then yung second general form natin is yung x square plus dx plus ey plus f equals 0. Then itatransform natin papunta kay the quantity of x minus h square equals 4p times y minus k. Okay, so let's have example number 1. So, transform the general form of the equation of the parabola to its standard form, then identify the vertex and the value of p. Okay? So, number 1, we have x square minus 8y minus 56 equals 0. So, dito guys, uh, ang may square natin is yung x. So, meaning, kailangan uh, yung y natin at yung constant nasa right side. Okay? So, lilipat natin to papunta sa right side. So, that is x square equals uh, negative 8y magiging positive 8y. Then, yung negative 56 natin magiging positive 56. So, kung makapansin nyo, nakasetup na yung ating equation na parang standard form. Ang kulang na lang is kailangan naka-factor out si P. Okay? So, para ma-factor out natin si P, dito, yung 8 natin is ipa-factor out natin din sa binomial. So, that is x square equals 8. So, pag pinactor natin si 8, ang may iwan na lang dito is yung y plus 56 divided by 8, that is 7. So, ito na ngayon yung ating magiging standard form. Okay, so ano ngayon yung vertex natin dito? So, ang vertex natin, syempre, si H is yung kasama ni X, which is unknown, so that is 0. Or no, missing si H, di ba? So, that is understood na 0. Then, yung K natin is yung kasama ng ating y. So, that is, uh, since positive 7 yan, so, i-reverse natin yung sign. So, that is negative 7. Okay? So, ang, ang vertex natin dito is we have 0, negative 7. Then, yung ating p naman, si p is makukuha natin kay 8. So, i-divide lang natin si 8 by 4. So, 8 divided by 4, that is positive 2. Nakuha ba guys? So, let's have another example. Number 2. y square plus 8x plus 48 equals 0. So, this time, yung y natin ang may square. So, meaning, si y ang may iwan sa left side. So, pag nire-write natin yan, that is y square. So, equals, so, si 8x magiging negative 8x. And si 48 magiging negative 48. So, nakaset up na yung ating equation. So, ang gagawin na lang is we need to factor out negative 8. So, that is negative 8. Pag pinactor out natin, may iiwan na lang si x. Then, negative 48 divided by negative 8. That is positive 6. Okay? So, ito na ngayon yung ating magiging standard form. So, yung kasama ni y natin dito, since missing, so that, that is understood na 0, yun yung value ng ating k. Then, si 6 dito, nakasama ni x, so that is our h. So, i-reverse natin yung sign, that is negative 6. So, ang vertex natin is equal to negative 6, 0, where p is equal to, so using negative 8 natin dyan sa may labas ng ating parenthesis, i-divide lang natin by 4. 
So, negative 8 divided by 4, ang value ng, to na, ng P natin is negative 2. Nakuha ba guys? So, next, let's have ex more examples. Number 3. X squared minus 4X plus 12Y plus 4 equals 0. So, in this case, yung X natin ang merong square. So, meaning... Yung both x natin dito is may iwan sa left side. So, that is x square minus 4x. Then, si 12y and 4 mapupunta sa right side ng ating equation. So, 12y becomes negative 12y. Then, si 4 magiging negative 4. Okay? So, ang next step natin dito guys is kumuha pansin nyo, kailangan ito ay maging square of binomial. Okay? So, para magawa yun, gagamitan natin yan, guys, ng completing the square. So, pag sinabi natin completing the square, is, i-divide lang natin yung middle term, let's say si B, yung ating middle term, i-divide lang natin by 2, then, i-square natin. Okay? So, try natin. So, we have x x square minus 4x. So, dito, ang b natin is yung 4, or yung negative 4, di ba? So, negative 4 divided by 2, that is negative 2, then square, magiging positive 4. Nakuha, guys? So, equals negative 12y minus 4. So, dito guys, kung nag-add tayo ng positive 4 sa left side, dapat sa right side, mag a din tayo ng plus 4. Okay? So, this case, in this case, yung trinomial natin sa left side is magpwede na natin i-rewrite sa ano, uh, square ng square of binomial. Which is equivalent, kanino kaya? So, square root nyo lang si x, x squared, that is x. Then, follow niyo yung sign ng middle term, that is minus. Then, square root niyo yung last term na 4. So, square root niyan, we have 2. So, ito na yung ating square root, square root binomial. Okay? Then, yung sa right side, simplify lang natin. So, makakancel yung negative 4. So, we have negative 12y. So, para mas makita pa natin yung equation, Pwede nyo pang i-factor si negative 12y, no? So, pwedeng maging x minus 2 square equals negative 12 times y. Okay? So, dito, ang vertex natin is equal to, ang h natin is equal to 2. Then, ang k natin is yung kasama ni y since missing. So, that is understood na 0. Then, ang P natin is equal to negative 12 divided by 4. That is negative 3. So, ito yung ating magiging final answer. Kuha? Next, let's have uh, example number 4. So, y square plus 6y plus 20x plus 89. So, in this case, yung y ang ating may square. So, meaning, siya yung may iwan sa left side ng ating equation. So, that is y square plus 6y equals, so lipat natin to, that's negative 20x, then minus 89. Okay, so kagaya ng ginawa natin sa example number 3, Kailangan yung ating uh, left side is maging perfect square trinomial. So, para magawa yun, magko-complete tayo ng square. So, ang completing the square natin is yung b over 2 square. Okay? So, we have y square plus 6y. So, ang b natin dito is yung 6. So, 6 divided by 2, we have 3. Then, square, that is positive 9. So, again, since nag-add tayo ng 9 sa left side, sa right side ng equation, mag-add din tayo ng 9. Okay? 
So, yung left side natin is already a perfect square trinomial, meaning to say, pwede natin niyang i-rewrite to square of binomial. So, again, ang pattern natin, take the square root ng first term, which is y, then copy the sign ng middle term, so that is positive, then kunin yung square root ng last term na 9, that is 3. So, ito na ngayon yung ating square of binomial. Okay, then sa right side naman, we have negative 20x, then negative 89 plus 9, that is negative 80. So, para mas makita natin yung h, factor out natin si negative 20. So, we have y plus 3 square. Pag pinactor out si negative 20, yung x natin is magiging, uh, mawawala na siya ng coefficient. Then, negative 80 divided by negative 20, that is positive 4. So, ito na ngayon yung ating magiging standard form. Okay, kung saan, ang vertex natin is equal to negative 4. Then, yung k natin, that is negative 3. Then, yung p natin is equal to Negative 20 divided by 4, we have negative 5. Nakuha guys. So this is the end of our video. I hope may natutunan kayo. So if you have questions or clarifications, kindly put them in the comment section below. So thank you guys for watching. This is Prof D. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!